So I've started tinkering around with the dashboard a little, not necessarily the dash, but what's gonna be underneath the dash. That's where I want all the electronics to go. So I got the fuse block, I got the ECU, I've got a little diagnostics port will stick in there. Um, that'll be easily accessible from the dashboard. It'll open up, everything will be there, and then it's under here, nice and protected. I've also got an idea to locate the coils inside. Um, I'm gonna try and utilize this little block here and I can keep the coils inside and protected and still have all the leads outside in the engine bay. So that's what I'm working on. To mount the fuse block under the dash, I'll first remove the original mounting bracket from the engine bay so it can be modified to fit inside the car. Once I have decided on a location, I'll fasten the bracket to the pan using pop rivets and tack welds. I will be fastening the ECU to the pan as well after trimming some of the bulk off of the mounting bracket and carefully mark the mounting holes without a tape measure. Rivet nuts are a clean and simple way to fasten the ECU. So this is roughly what it'll look like as a finished product. I've got the terminal box mounted. I was able to use the factory mount I cut out of the engine bay and modified it to fit on here so it's secured it's clipped on it works really well i've rebolted the ecu down and then this here is your 1991 engine diagnostics port i don't even know if i'll ever use it but it's a novelty item it's there it'll be easily accessible and maybe i can do something with it um, i left myself enough room to run the dash bar up over here and it won't interfere with the fuses or uh, make it too awkward to get the connector off the ECU if I need to. So the next step, I guess, will be to find somewhere to mount the coils. When working with the ignition system, it is always a smart idea to label the plug wires, cables, and coils to ensure proper reinstallation. There is a nice and convenient spot on the firewall to mount the new coil bracket. Using 22 gauge sheet metal, I measure and cut the panel to size. Cardboard makes a great template material to ensure a nice fit over the coil. The odd shape of the coils make it difficult to measure proper spacing. Some vague measurements and a straight eye will do the job. After tracing the template onto the panel, a hole saw and tin snips make quick work of the holes. Touch-ups with the die grinder provide a nice opening for the coils to fit inside. Once I'm happy with the fitment and have test fit all of the coils, the next step is to drill all of the mounting holes. With the panel in place, I can start the long process of a million tiny tack welds.
give the area a scuff and clean it up a little so I can give it a shot of primer. This is so if and when I decide to paint the engine bay, I won't have to completely disassemble the coils. What I got going on here is some good old fashioned JB Weld. I, I don't know if tack welding these nuts on this close to the coil would have done any damage, but I'm not going to take that chance. So what I'm hoping is that this JB weld holds up enough that when I bolt these coils through the firewall, the nuts will stay in there and I can just bolt them as if they were tack welded or as if they were an insert of some kind. So it's always got to be JB weld somewhere on the race car. I think that's where I'll leave you guys for now. I'm not 100% done and that's just because I don't have, I don't have this bulkhead fitting that I want that I'll be able to tie in. So my kill switch is going to be right here, right? You always want your kill switch in a spot that you'll roughly be able to reach as well as somebody coming to your aid if you ever get in a crash, they just have to reach inside the window. It's easily accessible. So I'm going to have that kill switch right here. The power lead is going to come up probably up the back to a bulkhead right here and then that'll power everything. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's not show quality wiring harness, but it's all there. It's clean and it's secure. Um, really happy with the way the coils turned out. Just kind of wish I could start it and make sure it all works. So update on the cost situation. This is kind of where I'm at to this point. With our total at $630, I made another $100 selling old parts off the car. I then spent $40 deleting the power steering and another $50 on more steel. This brings our total down to $620. So there you go. Um, we're on a pretty good pace. I was hoping that this video you're watching was going to be the roll cage video, but sounds like that'll be the next one. Um, I was just talking with Scotty yesterday at Pops Chops and we'll be getting the car down there either this coming weekend or the weekend following and kind of get it we got a really good plan should go quick really want to show you guys kind of how we operate in in the shop doing that kind of stuff it's a lot of fun so until next time i'll keep you guys updated on little stuff i'm tinkering on if i think it's worth your interest and thanks for watching cheers